Here's my uh, World Panda Mini keyboard. It's a MIDI and I can hook it up to my computer and it uh, works pretty good now because uh, it took me a while to set it up and I'm going to show you uh, what I had to do. It has 25 keys, 8 pads, 4 knobs, 4 sliders and some buttons. The problem I'm having is uh, the problem I was having was that Ableton Live does not recognize it. It does not have a preset for it. And um, so I had to do that on my own. On screen I have uh, my desktop audio workstation and it is called Ableton Live 9 Lite. Now I'm going to play some things here on it. I'm going to make some sounds anyway. I hope you can hear that. And it has velocity sensitive keys. So if you press them soft, they make soft sounds. If you hit them hard, they make loud songs. Problem is that the keyboard makes piano sounds and the uh, pads also make piano sounds. And that's not what I want. My setup on screen is uh, two channels. One for a one instrument is a grand piano, and the second instrument is the drum kit. And what I want is for the keys to play as a piano, and the pads to play as a drum. So I'm going to show you how to change that. Uh, the first thing you have to do is set this all channel. We don't want anything. We want only things that come from the keys. And they are on channel 1. So we pick channel 1. Again, if I turn off the piano and change the um, drum kit to channel 1. Then I'll get some. I'll get uh, drum noises on the pads and some of the keys will play drums. The drum kit, we're going to change that to channel 10. And that's how the sound should come in. This is the Panda MIDI Editor. And you can download this from the World site. The uh, URL will be in the notes below the video. And I will display them right here for you, that address. Uh, one thing you be, may need to be aware of if you uh, use the Windows uh, system then you will probably also have to get a a, um, a, a WinZip or some other uh, unzip uh, processor or program to um, extract the files because they are on the website as a dot R A R. To read in the values from the keyboard, go up to Communications, say Read Scene Data. Are you sure you want to read from the device? You say Yes, and it read it. it says Read Data OK, and click OK. Now you're ready to set your values. The way this works is. Um, on this side, common. Common tells you things that are set that are common to all of the components of the unit. And there are actually four scene names. There's one, two, three, and four. And you can store away four sets of presets for this. Okay, So there's four presets you can save. And this is the default of what it looks like when you bring this up. And uh, you can see that the global MIDI channel is channel 1. The piano keyboard is on channel 1. And um, we'll look a little bit further down here. And you can find the uh, trigger pads. And they are also set to channel 1. These, these are set 
uh, individually. So to get this to to uh, work the way I want it to work is I want my keyboard and, and piano keys to be set to channel 1 but I want to set these pads to channel 10 and that's as easy as clicking on them dropping the list and going down to channel 10. I'm sorry that's off screen there but uh, that's all there is to it. it. If there's a drop list then I pick channel 10 from it and you can see now that it's displaying 10. I'll do that do the others real quick here. It's it's so easy to do anyhow. There's just a drop list there. And that's all there is to it. Another good thing to look at while in the uh, Panda Mini editor is uh, velocity. Uh, for a beginner like myself, uh, normal is not a really good way to start. I am more concentrating on uh, hitting the right key as opposed to hitting the right key the right way. So you can you have a choice of four different what they call curves. There's a light, a normal, a heavy, and a constant. I usually set it to constant. And um, for the pads, I also set them to constant. Um, as, as you get better and more accustomed to it, then you can change them uh, to something more comfortable for yourself. You have uh, four what they call scenes. These are presets. The other thing that uh, you can do is go to the second one and set that one to normal and normal. Go to the third one and set that to something else you might want to try like light and light. And the fourth one you might want to set to heavy and heavy and try different ones. These you can access while you're playing by pressing on bank and then using these two um, arrows to switch from one bank to the other and I think I, I find that very handy now what you want to do is save this to the um, keyboard you click on communications send and says are you sure you want to send this you say yes click OK and then you can exit the program okay so I'm back to Ableton Live and um, if I hit the keys or the pads I don't get anything that's because they're both turned off so to get the piano on you press in or you can press automatic I hope you can hear them. If I press the pads, they're not working, so I can turn them on. Oh, those are loud. But, so I have my keyboard and my drums working. Uh, now I want to get the knobs to work. And um, I can click on them, I can roll them around, and they don't change. The way they you, you change the values, you click on them and you, if you slide your mouse up, it gets a higher value. You pull the mouse down, it's a, a uh, lower value. But I want to use the knobs to control these four here. And um, the way you do that is you go to Options, go to Preferences, click on the Link MIDI tab. Down here it says Input, World, Panda, Mini, and you need to click on Remote. And then you can close that. Now they still don't work. So you go up here to MIDI, and that is the MIDI Mapper. You click on the control you want to use. You 
rotate the knob a little bit and it made an assignment. Go to the next one, go to the second knob and that's been assigned. Go to the uh, third knob and then you go to the fourth knob. And what this is saying is channel one uh, control code which uh, nine. This one says channel one control code nine. That's these two being combined and those have been assigned. You do the same thing for the sliders. You click on attack, move the slider up and down, release, move the slider up and down, on tone, slider up and down, volume, slider up and down. And it has made all the assignments. Now you can turn the, the mapper off and um, this is a little bit odd but what happens is if you want to change the brightness of it all you have to do is change the knob you're gonna get this message down here saying he's waiting for the knob to synchronize with the on-screen value these are not endless uh, controls they are they have a min and a max so when the knob reaches the on-screen value it will synchronize and from then on you can rotate the knob back and forth and it'll be fine the same thing with the with the uh, sliders I'm using slider to change attack you don't really have to click on them all you gotta do is move it when you move it it'll light up and it'll tell you that it's got to synchronize so it says move it to zero once it, it synchronizes then you can slide it up and down move it around and the same with all the others okay and I'm setting these randomly And you can see that they all work now. And once once you set them, you don't have to click on them. All you got to do is rotate the control. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, click on like. If you've got comments, uh, go ahead and uh, leave me a message. Leave me a comment in, in uh, below the video.